back NYC fragrance family. 10 of 10 designers. Now I gave you niche before, decided to come back into designers. Why not? Now if you've seen my videos, you've seen most of my top 10 lists, you're going to see some recognizable fragrances, but there are some new additions. I have been buying a lot of designers lately. Cheapies too. But I've also gotten not so cheapies. But anyway, let's get into that list. So the first one, from the house of Azaro, a recent acquisition of mine, Wanted by Night. Now this one here is going to get some burn, probably even a cool summer nights. I know this is mostly a fall winter fragrance, but I just love this fragrance. I had a decant of it, I finally got the bottle, and this is definitely going to get some wears. I really enjoy how this smells on me, I really enjoy the smell of the fragrance itself, and I can't wait to get some more wearings in. It's a 10 of 10 for me, absolutely fantastic stuff as far as I'm concerned. The next one, from the house of Hermes, and you've seen me talk about this one before, and it is Eau de Citron Noir. You can see that. Closer in there. Oh, the Citron Noir. This fragrance right here with that black lime note and the tea. Again, another a fantastic tea fragrance. I do like my tea fragrances. You know I like Bulgari Perome Soir. This one I think takes that to a whole nother level. But and I consider it 10 of 10. Now, performance on these fragrances, a lot of these fragrances are lacking. So how can I make them 10 of 10, everybody will say, right? Well, as far as I'm concerned, they're 10 of 10s. I really love them and I enjoy them. And that's the way I look at it. So projection, longevity, things like that, they're important, but it's not the most important thing as far as I'm concerned. Do I adore the smell? Do I love the smell? Yes. Is it a 10 of 10 for me? Yes. Do I enjoy wearing it? Yes. That's what makes it a 10 of 10. So, Hermes Eau de Citron Noir. The next one has been featured many times. And it looks familiar, right? From the house of Dunhill. The original icon. To me, like I've mentioned in previous videos, it's just a fantastic orange vetiver fragrance but it's more than that it changes throughout the wearing it's just a fantastic fragrance as far as I'm concerned probably the best fragrance out of the house of Dunhill and I do enjoy quite a few of them and I own quite a few of them for some reason it's just a house I gra gravitated towards and I picked up quite a few of their fragrances I think I have about 10 of them this line in particular is really done well you have Icon Absolute, you have Icon Racing, you have Icon Elite. I own Icon Elite as well, I enjoy that one, I love the suede note in it. But Racing to me is a little more juvenile. And Absolute is a nice one too, that one has the addition of Oud. That one comes in the gold bottle. All, all four are very done very well. I think at the designer level and the price points you get these at, absolutely worth it. And I consider this one a 10 of 10. It's just one of those fragrances I enjoy wearing and will continue to enjoy wearing. The next one, yeah, I know, everybody's, it's played out. I could have put a few from this house in this, in this list and I decided to go with this one. Reason being, as far as I can see, it's gonna be a Hall of Fame fragrance, if there is a Hall of Fame, and it is Dior Sauvage, the EDT. This fragrance is just one of the best modern day fougeres out there. Plain and simple. It took a while for me to actually pick this one up. Three times before I actually bought it that I had to smell it. And this is why I have changed my idea of if you don't spray it on skin and test it on skin, you're never going to get the feel of the fragrance. Twice I smelled it on paper, did not enjoy it. By the third time, I got it on my skin and I was like, okay. I'm gonna buy it and I did it's 10 of 10 of fragrance this one performs well for an EDT the scent profile is is what it is 
you know, you could say what you want. It may not be something that you want. It's not unique. There's a lot of people wearing it, but it's a great fragrance, all in all. Next one is a discontinued fragrance, also from the house of Dior. And you probably already know what it is. It's Dior Om Parfum. Now this fragrance, to me, is just an artistic, probably the most artistic designer fragrance has ever created. This is, this oozes sexuality and sensuality. You want to smell sexy, come winter time, come the fall time, come the cooler nights. You want to get close to somebody, Dior on Parfum is the one. Now, again, discontinued. Can find it out there. It's a little pricey now. What I would say is we hope and pray that Dior makes the fragrance again in some other format or creates a, a similar fragrance that will please us as much as this one has for me. For me, this is a 10 of 10 fragrance, and I'm glad I have this in my collection. The next one I just recently did my review on. It's an overdue review. It's an older review because it's been a fragrance that's been in my collection for a long time. And the fragrance is Bulgari Tom Soi. The fantastic Darjeeling Tea. Bergamot fragrance. I man, the stuff smell like it just brings back so many memories when I smell this one because I did wear this for many years before I started this whole NYC fragrances thing. Bulgari Promsoi, Chanel Aguise Platinum. They were like, you know, I would alternate. So many memories, and I enjoy this fragrance. I still enjoy this fragrance. I think it's very uplifting for me, and I just love the way it smells. Ten of ten fragrance, as far as I'm concerned. The next one was a recent acquisition. Not very easy to find. I did get it off a discount site and happened to be lucky. And there's some people that might call this niche, but the brand is a designer in Europe. So I'm going to say it's a designer fragrance. And the fragrance is Hayari Only For Him. This is a fantastic creation. Man. To me, an oriental woody, aromatic creation by Cecile Zorokian. This is some fantastic, absolutely fantastic juice. When I wore this the first time I got it, and you see there's a little bit out of that bottle. Let me pull that up there again. You can see there's a little bit out of that bottle already because I have worn it a couple of times. I like the back has this scripted H on it, which is pretty cool. I think it would have done better if they would have done something better with the label. Just my own thing. And the cap is not, it sounds like it snaps, but it's like a loose snap. So that's kind of shaky. It is a metal cap, which to me, if you're going to go that route with a nice weighted cap, make it lock in. You know, and that's, you know, versus being a niche brand. This is what I would expect, maybe from a cheaper designer, but this is a high-end designer as far as I know. But this fragrance is, it's like a beautiful barbershop fragrance with added oriental spices. It's just fantastic. I, I, I love the smell of this stuff. This is a 10 of 10 without a doubt. My scent bubble with this was astronomical. Love it. 10 of 10. Another one, it's a recent acquisition. This one also, I believe, is going to be discontinued. I know, you guys are like, come on, man. You're killing me with the discontinued fragrances. I was able to track it down on eBay. comes from the house of Lalique. And it is Homage à l'Homme Voyageur. You can see that. It's a dark bottle. Seeing that label is going to be kind of tough here. I think I got it. I think right there you can see it. This fragrance is mysterious, opulent, beautiful patchouli in it. It's just, I, I can't even describe it to you. This, if, this is why I believe like Lalique's a designer, but Lalique, the fragrances that I've gotten from Lalique to me are, as we quote unquote say, niche quality. This is a fantastic 
I love this fragrance. I wore it just last night, actually. And I was walking my dog and I'm getting the breeze because it was a cool breeze. Now, this is not something I would recommend wearing during the summertime, during the day. If you get a cool night, you can get away with it. This is definitely fall, spring, you know, early spring, mid to late fall, maybe even get away with winter. I'm going to test that out, but this stuff is phenomenal. And for the price that I got this at, I couldn't be happier. This is probably one of my best finds recently, especially in the designer realm. And I've been picking up a few Laliques. I know someone requested a Lalique video, so that's going to be coming as soon as I have all the ones that I want to make that video. So stay tuned because that will be coming. And I will talk more about this one. As a matter of fact, I'll probably do a full review on this one so I can talk a little more about it. I know you're like, you're leaving me hanging. You didn't give me anything. Hey, you know what? Don't worry. If you trust my if you trust my judgment, trust me. And if you like that you like dark, darker, mysterious fragrances, this is something I definitely think you should check out. Ten of ten. The next one from another house that I am a big fan of. I have every single one in the collection. Except for the one that just came out in 2020, which I'll probably end up getting anyway. And it's from the house of Guerlain. And it is L'Homme Ideal Intense. I know what's coming. Joe, really? 10 of 10 Intense? Not the Eau de Parfum? Not the original EDT? Not Cologne? Why the Intense? Something about this fragrance just took that EDT, EDP and made it just a little bit better for me. I don't know what it is. And I got it as a kit, and I have the shower gel. And I use the shower gel, and that stuff smells really good, man. I, when I take a shower with that stuff, I love the smell of it. It's fan, it's it's fantastic. It almost it's making me kind of want to buy more fragrance shower gels just to try them out because I I just love the way that smells. Go on with that, you know. They have that predominant almond note and all the in the outline. This is just done with a richness. Again, I do like my rich fragrances, but I also like my crisp, clean, fougere style fragrances. I like my citrus aromatics. But when I get something like this that just speaks to me, this is just fantastic. And this one I think is going away too because it's coming, becoming harder to find people and the prices aren't that cheap. This came in around $70. So if you have an idea that you want to get yourself Lomi DL Intense, you better start shopping now. That's all I'm going to tell you. Next one on the list, or the last one on the list. Damn, I got already down to 10. <laughs> the last one on the list, if you know me, you know the channel. Come on, this is like the easiest thing possible. You could probably guess, right? You want to take a guess? You could probably guess. You know what it is. Chanel Egoise Platinum. How could this not make the list? I mean, come on. This is, without a doubt, <sighs> the lavender, geranium, mossy, woody, beautiful Chanel creation that I am totally enamored with. I love this fragrance. I've loved this fragrance. And I have, oh, what, probably 300 bottles now. And this one is still the king. King, queen, whatever you want. Still the king. I, I, love my, I love a lot of my fragrances. I love almost all of my fragrances, just about. I want to say I love them all, but, you know, you have your days. This one, I've never, never drifted away from how I feel about this fragrance. I love this fragrance. I will continue to love this fragrance. And if Chanel, you stop making it, we're going to have a problem. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, <laughs> so that was my 10 of 10 list designer. I hope you like the list. I hope you feel the same way about them like I do. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. New viewers, thank you for stopping by. Hope you subscribe to the channel and become part of the family. New subscribers, thank you for joining the family. And hopefully you're hitting that notification bell so you're notified when the videos come out and you'll get to see my videos. And my NYC fragrance family, from the bottom of my heart, 
Thank you for being a part of the family. Thank you for your continued support. And until the next time, remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day. Thank you.